Greetings, Lieutenant. My name is Colonel Trace Wilberton. I am the liaison officer of this sector in the 8th Army. Let's get to the point, Lieutenant. At 1700 hours this morning, we detected this large armored formations of infantry, tanks, and half track. This is probably a probing attack trying to test our defenses. Lieutenant, we will set up a trap ready for them. I want you to defend the position. This is the target area. They will attempt to attack this position to take this town. Your primary objective is defend this town at all costs, Lieutenant. Once Baratheon's armored corps has arrived, drive them off from your area of engagement. Once you have secured the town, do not pursue Rommel's Africa Corps. We don't have the resources to launch a counterattack at this point. We will choose our battles as we deem fit. Hold the line and make sure give Rommel and his vaunted Africa Corps a trashing that they will never forget. That is all, Lieutenant. And by the way, welcome to the desert, rats, Lieutenant. Sir! Enemy sighted! They had crossed the perimeter! Alright, lads. This is it. Defend the position. Utterly team. Make sure to target them as soon as possible. Anti-tank teams, take out those tanks. Machine guns, defend the position at all costs. You know the rest. Hold the line as possible. All we gotta do is just wait for... Baratheon's armor core to show up. That's all we have to do. Make sure you don't do anything stupid to get yourself killed. We are the desert rats, after all. Let's put that reputation to use and give Rommel. We'll give him a smack in the face and have him choke his panzer fume back to Berlin. That's what I want to hear, Lali. Let's do this. Here's the British 8th Army, and as you can see, I had to mix my current dice bags, dice um, order dice from the Band of Brothers starter set and the Island one, the one in the Pacific. And I still don't have enough, so I had to cut down a bit from my original intent, but here's the forces I will need. I got a Matilda over here, um, Crusader tank, and transport for Universal Carrier, um, or I probably can take um, five infantry in there. I have to check the transport. And here's my anti tank gun and artillery. And as for my first infantry, they're a mix of close to 10 men to 10 man squad or a full squad with um, light um, machine gun and a loader and another squad but this one's gonna carry my HQ on it so it has a ability to call in an airstrike an observer I don't have the observer yet I have it finally showed up yesterday but I needed to paint it so it's gonna proxy so and here's my infantry that might that will be fielding another set of infantry and a voice anti-tank rifle and a machine gun and for the support for the air air absorber um a hawker hurricane and this is my british 8th army they are going to defend this town so now I'm gonna do the overview for the Axis Germans. And here's the force of the Africa Corps. And this is the um, units I was able to get in. I had to cut down this one too, but not as bad as the British. I had to cut down a lot of them here too. Like I was gonna get like four tanks in here, like Another Panzer three and four, but I had to cut that down. So what we got here is a half track transport, um, Panzer four, um, Panzer three, and we got a mortar, medium mortar, I believe, and medium machine guns. Um, 
German anti-tank um, anti rifle teams and a light mortar team. And as we're here, it's the HQ. You can call it an um, aerial attack. And over here, uh, we got the infantry. Uh, some of them are like around 10, close to, uh, not full squad, but they're, as you can see here, they're like um, either 10 to um, 9. So each of them has a bike machine gun and some of the basically anti tank rifles, or anti tank um, grenades. So uh, that is the um, DAC Aquacore, my Africa Core field units for the game. Me and my opponent decided to play for deployment and all we did was just deploy our troops from the village. While I used my 8 army British, I secured the house over here and I moved out my infantry. And as long my, same as my anti-tank went to the house and my infantry just moved in and I had the artillery in near the river set. His forces were deployed at front of his deployment set zone and there were many of them so his goal is just to capture the main central town at the first turn no one was shooting at all during the second turn um there was some action there was some shooting in a with the infantry tank and infantry the one with the house over here my team went in there but they got suppression and he picked off more and i gave another suppression for um for that team those dice on the weapons teams are the amount of infantry aboard on that team so i killed one of his infantry so i have those dice in there and that thing's a complete dice so that means it's full his vehicles moved in i killed off one of his um anti-tank mortar teams I believe by my anti-tank rifle my it, for some reason the shooting wasn't that great for my side but I did kill one of his um infantry and that was the same thing it was just on and off like that their entry was pretty bad for my um side um his op my opponent decided to call it an airstrike and wipe out my infantry section in this building. And his troop was awfully getting close to my objective. But I have my other section defending this um, side while my machine gun is still holding up. And just keeping chilling there like a chat and shooting what he can. As for the artillery, near, near miss and my anti-tank teams were not just doing, they're not doing anything good. Especially an anti-tank behind the building. It's just it's just missing. It's probably due to the rules that we were having difficulty. But turn three was kind of a very interesting and I am pretty much close to the end for my side. Finally, turn four got really interesting reinforcements finally came in and for this side of the map my universal carriers along with some veteran highlander troops black watch um were on board but they managed to wipe out the infantry that was in here like the machine guns and mortar teams and decided to eject it and go to the tree for cover um unfortunately the tank went on it drew attention from from that side so the ten, his panzer forces went on targeting my black watch guys but so it was a, just an event um shootout so his forces were attention while my forces pulled away and i decided to pull them back so they can be um i can rally them so once i get them ready and rested these guys are they're not getting any shots and my same thing with my tank they made an appearance in this area and they're trying to make a shot at the armor or the half track but 
I couldn't make any um, shots with their cannons. It's probably due to um, misread from the rules. So, but machine guns, they're pretty much doing what they need to do. And the artillery, uh, the infantry, the Black Watch, they're trying to get they're trying to get to this position so they can cover up the area. So just in case this infantry was about to hit this side, but as his forces were um, coming in, they they took the attention of the Black Watch instead. So they keep pop shotting my um soldiers in there. So I decided to put them in a down order, since a down order can give you um a lot of cover. But the problem is you can't shoot back or move. So this is ends of turn four. Turn five is becoming a um slugfest. My infantry from the Black Watch side where the Universal Carriers were just shooting at his infantry over here. But with his attention, he moved his forces over here as well. And for his um, machine gun teams, they pretty much rally and they're just shooting at my poor Black Watch guys. But since they're in the down order, they're having a hard time getting them. So, and for my machine guns... They were just shooting it out. His tanks are missing the same thing. So I pretty much draw away his um, forces from that area. And they're just being painting and doing it. My machine gun teams over here are just doing um, shooting. And my infantry were there rallied. My anti-tank, they still continue to miss. But they probably give, they gave one a pinning order for my tank. But his tank over there. But um, my anti-tank here teams in this little building is doing the same thing. My tank units decided to opt to shoot down on infantry because they were having a poor shot with the vehicle. So more um, suppression for him. So with my infantry rally strong and my infantry team here, anti-tank team, um, taking pot shot, I pretty much had to secure this side. My machine guns are just shooting whatever that comes out in this area. So by the next turn, I would have been secured more. Turn six is over, and it's a victory for the Eighth Army. Um, Rommel's Africa Corps probing attack was blunted, but the Africa Corps is not defeated. So, as for my forces, we we managed um my they ma I managed to hold them off for much as I can at turn six. My forces over here did what it can to um draw the attention away from his um, panzer trees and infantry to shoot at these guys and they did their um, job by wiping out some of the infantry in that direction and the, my tanks they just went after the infantry they I just decided to go over the vehicle because they were not doing a good job of um, shooting out the tanks and as for the um, infantry over here once they try to come out here my artillery will try to shoot at them wound a number of them my machine guns will do the same thing and the infantry that moved here that rallied will do the same thing over there so i pretty much secured the objective area my anti-tank teams were just completely missing their mark it's not a good day for them so they need to go back to gunnery school and my anti-tank teams in that house did the same thing so as for my tanks the problem is we need um it's probably rule related for the um tanks and vehicles it's pro that's why it's not um we're not making a, any headway on them and for for the infantry his, his my command his command teams managed to wipe out my infantry section over here by calling an airstrike and that's what's it the problem was my opponent was he was just he, he was too cautious he didn't do the run order for um to the buildings and if he could have done that he could have just wiped um held the objective and won the game but he was he we were still new at this one so i had the advantage of being a defensive player and hopefully the next game that we play will be a follow-up with this one 
and it will be my turn to be in the offensive. Well, looks like the Germans are pulling back. All armored elements pursue them immediately. Negative, sir. Our orders is to stay in this area once we secure. Do not pursue the enemy beyond this point. You're out of line, Lieutenant. I'm taking the initiative here. All units, pursue them. Sir, we had dropped the enemy off, but Colonel Baratian decided to pursue them with his armored core. That glory hugs can get all his men killed. Order him to cease his operation at once. Hi, sir. Colonel Baratian, please respond. Please respond. Cease your operations immediately. Over. No transmission. He's probably in radio silence by now. That makes sense. Get me the lieutenant. Yes, sir. <laughs> 